Hello everyone, Scott Devers here, Visual Evangelist. What do you think this is? Well, it could be a donut that was, that was rolled over by a steamroller and just smashed. Or it could be a bicycle tire that somebody tried to invent and I don't think it's going to work all that great. No, this is not a, a flattened donut. It is not a bicycle tire. It is, it's not a record with a great big hole. It's, it's, not a, it's not a Frisbee. No, this is my all-purpose hat. You can make it whatever you want. Let me show you four basic ideas. You could put it on like this. And that's meant to be your cowboy hat, like Yosemite Sam. Okay, that's my, that's my cowboy hat. And I'm, you know, this town's not big enough for the two of us. And all that carry on. All right, there's my cowboy hat. But what if, you know, I don't like horses. Can't be a cowboy and not like horses. So I'm going to make this hat something else. So I put it on like this. And now it becomes a lady's sunbonnet, like Little House on the Prairie and, and, and a wagon train and all of these ideas these women back in the day, back in the day, and they had their sunbonnet. You see that? Isn't that cute? Please don't say it is. All right, here, there's my there's my sunbonnet. But oh, I'm a guy, and I don't want to wear a girl's hat. So I can do this. I can turn it inside out like this, and give it a pull here and a pull there pull here and then I've become John Paul Jones or a British Admiral with my sailor's hat you see that and that's my sailor's hat but that won't do because I get seasick let me see about that sailor's hat pretty fetching isn't it and there's my sailor's hat but if I don't want to do that look now I can be Napoleon. I have no idea why I kept sticking his hand up inside his shirt. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't think anybody knows why he did that. It just looked good. I don't know why. Well, there he is, Napoleon. You see? Napoleon. Now, are you ready for my corny joke that goes with this? If I'm wearing this hat in this fashion, and I take, now this, I don't know if I can do it because my balance isn't what it was, maybe, and I hold up my foot, and I look down at my foot, and I wobble around and I look down at my foot. Do you know what that is? This is corny dad's joke. Napoleon facing defeat. <laughs> okay, I realize how silly that is. We read in 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 16, that there are people that rest the scriptures that's the word for wrestle. They wrestle the scriptures. You see, I took this, and when I didn't want it to be a cowboy hat, I twisted it, and I made it what I wanted. And when I didn't want it to be a sunbonnet, then I took it, and I twisted it from both sides, like that, because I'm going to force it to be what I want it to be. And, uh, boy, I can't hardly speak and chew, chewing gum today. My uh, coordination's not that great, but there you go. And I make my, my sailor's hat okay, or my Napoleon's hat, depending. But the point is this, and it is a good point, that sometimes people treat the Bible like I treat this. When they read a passage and they don't like what it says, according to uh, 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse 16, they rest the scriptures. They twist them. When they don't want to believe that there's a place called hell, they try to find an alternate meaning. And they twist the scriptures. When the Bible tells us there's things we ought to do, when it says that Jesus is the only way. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. But they don't like that. So they find a way and they twist the scriptures and according to 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 16, they rest the scriptures or they wrestle the scriptures or they twist to the scriptures. And the Bible says to their own destruction. 
It's no good saying Jesus isn't the only way. Let the Bible be the Bible. It's not the Bible you should be changing. It's you that needs to change. Don't change the Bible to please yourself. Change yourself to please God and to align with the Bible. Uh, 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 16. There are people that rest, they twist the scriptures to their own destruction. Anybody that thinks that they can get saved any other way, they're destroying themselves. They're not going to be saved. They're not going to go to heaven. They've twisted the scriptures. Don't twist the scriptures. Rather than redefine the scriptures, you need to redefine your life. God bless you. Till next time.